the Wolfman here at Barefoot Bushcraft, and I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we are going to talk about creating fire using a magnifying glass, this tool right here. So magnifying glasses you can get at science stores, uh, you can sometimes find them all over the place. Uh, this particular lens is a little bit of a thicker lens. This one I got at a wrecker. Um, and how I came upon this was I went to a local scrap metal dealer and I found the large old projection television sets uh, that they used to have in the 80s and 90s and you simply smash them apart and inside the uh, when you take the screen off inside are usually one or two or three um, like they almost looked like a post like a, a big huge tube inside that tube hides this super high power magnifying glass it's a really awesome tool um, and let's uh, let's put it through its paces here and see if we can't get a fire started first piece of uh, thing we're going to try to set on fire cotton ball right available at dollar stores stuff like that huge favorite of uh, many people in the outdoor and bushcraft industry so we're going to put this on a spoon here so we don't burn the old blanket and uh, we're going to take this there's your lens, and we're gonna hold the lens like this until you can see the beam starts to get tight. Right about there. See how tight that beam is? Now, check this out. Normally, if you throw a spark into that, it's gonna catch. But what are you looking at here? You're seeing nothing is happening. It's not actually catching fire. So it's an interesting reason as to why that doesn't actually work. That's because this piece of cotton is all fluffy. See how fluffy it is? The fluffiness actually will break up the beam when this beam hits it. So what happens is it basically, it won't start, right? So let's try something else. We've got our old, uh, our tin here. Let's try a piece of this. So this is just jute twine. We're gonna pull the jute twine apart. You know what, we're gonna leave the jute twine together. Same thing, we're going to hold it back. Now if you notice, I have to push the lens in like this until it gets super, super tight. Now be aware of when you do that, you are going to be looking at the sun. Make sure that you prepare for that. So now we're going to get a nice, super snug beam going right there. And look how fast that starts to catch fire. Look at that. Now do we have fire? We do not have fire. We have smoke. So let's see. You're just going to hold it on there. As you can see, compared to the cotton ball, that just took a couple seconds. But we don't have a fire. So it's a lot harder than most people would imagine to use a magnifying glass to get this started. Because look at that. So we got lots of smoke, but no fire. So here's a piece of char cloth. Char cloth, if you're, for those of you who are unaware, is just a piece of charred cloth and we do have a video tutorial on making it. Again we're going to take this and you're going to see the beam is right there and it's not very big. And we're going to make it nice and tight. Might have to rotate your lens a little bit to get a really nice good angle on it. There we go. Nice tight beam and boom look at that. We got smoke but again with this kind of tool smoke does not necessarily mean fire. So we're going to let it keep going. We're going to make sure the char cloth gets nice and lit. There we go. We got a piece of lit char cloth right there. All right, again, I got my tinder bundle here. I got my lens. I'm going to uh, focus that lens beam right there. You can see it almost immediately starts to catch smoke. Tells me that the char cloth is actually starting to uh, get hot there. There we go. But again, getting the smoke doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the fire. The most challenging thing now is to actually get this to ignite right so get it past this char stage and getting it into the flame stage ah there we go look at that how beautiful is that now I would always have all of my stuff pre-prepared, right? I'm gonna have my t all of my little shavings prepared. I'm gonna have my entire fire ready to go. So when I get to that ignition stage, boom, fire, I'm gonna set it right down and I'm gonna create my large fire for cooking or for warmth or whatever else you want. So there, there you have it. Basically, you're gonna take your lens, you are going to take some char cloth uh, and some natural tinder. In this case, we use some, uh, some jute twine. You can also use some cotton and uh, you, can, you can make your bundle and there you go. You can set it on fire 
with a magnifying glass. This particular one came from inside an old television set. So anyways, I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm the Wolfman. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.